Hey there, in this video I want to show you how you can add a contact form that's built in Go High Level and how to add it to a different website that's not built in Go High Level, like a WordPress website or Wix, um, you name it. So let's get started. Before you can finish building the contact form, you want to know what kind of uh, font and what kind of colors you need to be able to match the um, form to the website. And this is just a template that I picked up here on WordPress and I am um, looking for the font here and in the settings and I can see here we have open sans. Um, and so inside of go high level, if you go to sites and then you go to forms and then builder, here's where you can see your contact forms or here's where you see forms. And this is a snapshot um, that I have um, and there's a contact form in that snapshot. So let's look at that contact form real quick. And this is pretty basic. Um, you know, this is not a video on how to customize a contact form that might be in the future, but this form here can be embedded super simple and you click on integrate and then you go on inline. That's what I usually do and copy the form link. Once that link is copied, you go to your um, WordPress website. And in my case, this is um, actually built with um, Elementor. So I'm going to open that um, website builder up. And what I need here is I need to have a, a piece of code. So I'm going to go um, and add, um, at that widget, the code widget. So I'm gonna look for that code widget, HTML, and I'm gonna put that right on top here and then I can delete whatever I don't need. So in this piece of code is where I put the um, the form and I actually, <laughs> I copied the wrong thing. So not the form link, but the embed code is what we need to copy. So here's how we do that, paste it in here. And then that's how the form is gonna look. If I have embedded that link or the, the code once, um, I can publish this and if I make changes to the form on the back end, if I, let's say I want to change the color from this um, form from blue to, let's say this green, once I hit save here, I don't need to change the code. All I got to do is I can look at the, I can look at the website, um, look at the website right here and you see here without changing the code, the color of the button already updated. So. That's really helpful. That way you only have to embed the code once. Um, we have a lot of clients where we offer services like the contact form or the chat widget on existing websites. And we're working with different agencies to put that code on there. So once the code's on there, um, it could be, you know, uh, adjusted. Uh, you can adjust things on the back end with high level. So that's how you add a contact form outside of go high level into a website. It could be WordPress, Wix. As long as they have the, the code, the code, um, widget to add to the to the website builder and um, you're set and pretty much everybody has that so if you have any questions let me know down in the comments if you are one of those businesses that actually needs a super smart contact form I can help you um, set it up um, I'll set I'll leave my email down in the description and you can just reach out to me there so we'll talk soon have a great day